Ali there. Let's get to this part of the world now because Hussein Sojwani, he's the billionaire founder of the UAE property giant, The Mark. The group has just purchased a Swiss luxury jeweler that filed for bankruptcy in early 2020. It's part of the firm's expansion into high-end fashion. Hussein Sajwani now joins us exclusively. Hussein, congratulations on the move. Uh, could you tell our global audience what the thinking behind the deal was and how it fits into your strategy? You know, this brand has been one of the high-end global brand in jewelry. And it's been a very, very unique brand. And it's positioned at the top of the market, competing with the Bulgaris and that type of uh, products. Unfortunately, it went through. Some people bought it and then could not manage it and went through financial difficulties. And we picked it up three years ago from the Swiss uh, courts. Uh, having said that, we spend a lot of time so far of repositioning it. And we're looking to reposition this brand and take it to back where it was. And we're very, very excited about it. Hussein, good morning, uh, and, and, and let's see where that journey takes you. I mean, what does that involve, Hussein? Is that opening uh, new sites, let's say, in Geneva? Will you bring the brand here? Will you put it into one of the luxury malls or, the, or, or some of your facilities that you have here? What is the expansion plan for the brand? Definitely, we're going to be looking at opening shops or stores in major cities like London, Dubai, uh, U.S. because this brand was very strong in U.S. We're looking at China in the long term. Uh, we already launched a property, two towers in Dubai uh, under the name of Cozogono. And amazing enough, we sold them within literally one week time. Uh, we have a plan to launch two more towers behind those two, the first one. So from the property point of view, the the, mm -hmm. Our property business is benefiting from the brand already, and we launched two towers, and we're going to launch two more. And definitely, we're going to grow the brand into back where it was a global brand. Uh, Hussein, what was the purchase price tag for this acquisition? How much did you pay? And is there any money that still is going to be possibly recovered from Angola and the Dos Santos family? We have nothing to do with the previous owners. We bought it clean, with no liabilities, with no uh, any other issues from the court in Swiss. And as you appreciate how Swiss are like their watches, everything has to be done and is done to, by the books. Uh, and we have a plan to grow the brand uh, globally.